Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to do my twist and twist out routine using my current favorite products. And the two products I just showed are from the Cantu line. I love their leave-in conditioner. And I'm also trying one of their styling products, which I absolutely love. It gives me some really good definition and really holds my twists nice and tight. So I put both products in my hair and I layered the leave-in conditioner first and then the styling product. And then I seal all of that moisture in with an oil. This is my favorite oil right now from Shea Moisture. I think I really just love it because of the applicator bottle. It's really convenient and easy to use. Then I start off my twist with braiding it actually from the root. And then I transition that braid into a two strand twist and that just works better for my tightly coiled kinky hair so that the roots are a little smoother. They don't get completely smooth, but you know, this step does actually ensure that the style is a little better. So I twist my finger at the end so that I get a really nice curl. I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to part my hair into a medium sized section so that my twists are nice and proportionate. Then I'm going to actually spray my hair with some water because it did get a little dry. Add some more of that leave-in conditioner in my hair. And then I'm going to add some of the styler to my hair and follow all of that up with a nice luscious, luscious oil. And if you notice here, I actually spray my Deadman brush because I think it slides through my hair a lot better and it doesn't snag and it definitely gives me a nice smooth detangle. So I make sure that the section is detangled thoroughly so that everything comes out really, really nicely. And then we start off by braiding the roots again and then transitioning all of that to a two strand twist. And if you want your twists to curl at the end, simply give them a little twirl as you finish. All right, so half of our head is already completed and the twists look extra juicy and amazing. So now we're gonna tackle this super dry side. <laughs> My left side is so dry compared to the twisted section. And we're gonna fix that. We're gonna repeat our steps with the moisturizing styling product, sealing with our oil and then braiding and twisting. Everything is looking so nice and so juicy. I just love, love, love this style. And I take the excess product and I rub that through my twists and I really focus it on the edges as well because I am having some edge issues. We're trying to get those bad boys back to health. And then I take some oil and then finish it all up, seal it all up, take my scarf and then I wrap up my edges and I leave it for maybe a couple of hours. I think I left this for maybe four hours just to chill while I did some other things around the house. All right, so it is later in the evening and we are simply going to undo our headscarf and look at those edges. Again, I have kinky, coily hair and the styling product that I use actually gave me some waves, which I love. And I'm trying to see how I want to style this because with the middle part, it wasn't really cutting it with the twist down like that. I usually don't do middle parts, but I reserved the same part from my last style and I didn't want to do too much part manipulation. So that's the reason for that. Um, but we're doing a half up, half down style just because I want to get the hair off of my face and out of the way.
And then this is another alternative if you just don't want any hair out and you want this to be a complete protective style. I just kind of did a double ponytail bun situation and put it all together and it actually looks really, really cute. These twists definitely look better without a middle part, but you know, your girl's gonna work with what she's got for right now. All right, so I just woke up. This is like two days later, and I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like in preparation for a twist out with older twists. So I'm simply unraveling my twists. Um, I tried not to borrow too much from each side so the twists unravel pretty evenly and easy and nice which is so good for me because I was like in a rush I woke up late I was so tired barely like look awake or anything but yeah I'm unraveling these twists as best as I can with the time that I have so I will let you know that I try to not do too much manipulation with my hair while it's out because I want to preserve the style as long as I can. And so the way that I actually do that is I don't fluff it out too much on the first day. And to combat some of the PC look and um, kind of interesting looking pieces that are falling in my face, I just pin it back for the first day. First day hair is definitely not my fave. It's cute, but the next day is definitely my favorite. I think second day hair is thebomb.com. All right, so this is actually third day hair, and third day hair is a lot bigger it's a lot less PC and um, it just gets so much better with age and yeah this is it I just wanted to show you all what this looks like and yeah that's it for today's video thank you all so much for watching make sure you subscribe to this channel don't forget to rate it give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>